Stadium in Coastal Carolina getting a makeover. You could see some of the upgrades in just a few months. Our Tegan Brown joins us live from campus. And Tegan, what can students and those fans out there expect? Hey Eric, yeah, students and fans are really in for a treat here at Coastal at Brooks Stadium. From a brand new LED scoreboard to a new ribbon board to improvements with the audio system, all of which are to enhance that kind of game day experience for these fans and students. But Brooks Stadium isn't the only place you'll see changes here on campus. This is a big moment for us. This is a long time coming. Change comes in all shapes and sizes. For the Coastal Carolina Athletics Program, the changes coming are all for the fans. We know that we get a lot of requests from our fans. We get a lot of requests from those that follow our program. They'd like to see upgrades in terms of the game day experience, and that really starts with how you interact with them digitally. The fans include students. Freshman Trevor Barrett says he's looking forward to the improvements. It's exciting. I think it will help just improve the overall experience of football games. I think the atmosphere is already great. While fans will get to see the improvements in Brooks Stadium next season, other projects will take longer. As we know, the Health and Human Performance uh, College uh, was started up a year ago. Uh, they're going to move into their own building. That building or the space where that building is going to be constructed has been identified where our track currently sits. Uh, so we needed to move forward with finding a new location for the track, which would be across uh, Highway 501. The Coastal Carolina Board of Trustees approved the new college building, track and field facility, and the stadium upgrades. There's also a master plan in place at the university with future ideas, but none are set in stone yet. We wanted to include everything that is possible uh, that, that's affecting us right now or, or future growth that we need to be prepared for, but uh, that's what it is right now. It's, it's a plan uh, and each and every one of those projects would have to be vetted separately and, and move through the, the approval process and could in many cases change in scope by the time we get to that stage as well. Some of the ideas in that campus master plan includes fields for intramural sports, a convocation center, or even a performing arts center. But again, these are just ideas and they are not approved projects. Live in Conway, Tegan Brown, WMBF News.